Markets are at the high point of the day, and it's a good time to get Nimesh with us. Nimesh, what are you making of today's market action? Uh, the bulls would feel very, very good. You got up this morning, you said, oops, SGX Nifty down 100 points. If you're going to end 40 points higher, wow, the bulls will feel good. I, I think it's a, it's a good good day for the markets, given that you know so th there was so much of bad global queues and still we are up and almost a day is high. And the good part is the breadth is positive, yes. you know. And now we are seeing a lot of uh, you know new sectors are participating on the upside. So today, for instance, sugar is doing good. All the sugar stocks are buzzing. Auto stocks have done well in trade today. And so is the PSE stocks. The PSE stocks has, seems, has some bit of momentum, but that seems to be carrying on even in today's trade. Uh, the flows are mixed, but today the data will be impacted by two large block deals, which is uh, the Fishigram Finance and the Kirlesco Oil, because in both the trades, uh, the non-institutions were on the sell side. So the number will get reflected on the buy side. That's something we need to account for uh, in today's FI data. Uh, even the financials are doing good today, and, and the good part is there is a bit of momentum back in the PSU bank stocks. They're well bid as well, is what I understand in terms of flow. So, uh, good day. Uh, the flows are mixed, but there is momentum, and, and the best part is uh, the breadth has improved, and a lot of a lot of other sectors have started participating on the upside now. Oh, that's good news then, uh, Nimesh. We'll have to keep an eye out on those two block trades sure. when we look at the institutional flows. Very important. What about individual stocks? What are you picking up? So, in terms of individual names, the first stock on my list today is uh, Soap Distilleries. Uh, good, uh, you know, good volumes on that stock today. The stock last when I checked was up 10 odd percent, and and the and, and overall the, 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 there is a bit of uh, you know flow activity at the H and S, but I believe the capacity expansion is on track, and that's been the key trigger for the stock to do well today. So that's the first one. The second stock is Ambuja Cements. This is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, I, I, you know there is a lot of chatter about a large block deal coming in Ambuja Cements very soon. I've tried to check with the management as well. I've tried to, ch tried to check with some institutional desk as well. No such indications, but the buzz is very strong, of a, uh, or an anticipation is very strong of a large block in Ambuja Cements very soon. So that's something to try going forward. And the last stock is LNT. That stock is buzzing in trade. Good volumes at HNRDS. Some bit of accumulation is back from the larger FIs is what I understand. Also, there is a Mangan sale you note today morning. They've upgraded the stock price. They've raised the target price on, on LNT. And also, they've put out a tactical buy report. So that's the reason why LNT is buzzing in trade today. Nimesh, thank you very much for that. Morgan Stanley has raised the target price on Larson and Tubro to 2,000.